Hi friends, I'm Parwaze and in this video we're going to learn that how you can uh, use SQLite database in Python programming language. Now before this uh, I had a video on working MySQL database with Python. Now in this video we're going to use SQLite database. We will learn that how you can uh, create database, how you can create tables, how you can insert data, select data, update and delete data in SQLite database using Python programming language. Uh, we're using SQLite 3 and uh, with Python 3.7 uh, and you don't need to install SQLite 3 because uh, it is built-in library. Uh, now I'm going to just create a new Python file in here. Uh, I'm going to call it create db. So first we're going to learn that how you can create database or db SQLite database. Uh, we need to import SQLite 3. We can just say SQLite 3 and uh, we want to import this as LIT. Uh, after this, I'm going to just create a diff main uh, in here, main function, uh, and I'm going to create a try. So, in the try block, the first thing I need, I need to uh, create my database. I'm going to just say lit.connect and in here you need to give the database name that you want to give. For example, I'm going to just give it uh, geeks uh, coders. db. So after this, uh, I'm going to just print uh, the database. Uh, Create it and I'm going to add db in here. And if there was an error, I'm going to just uh, write that in the accept block and I'm going to just say felt to create database. Okay, now we need to call our main function in here so underscore underscore name. and we are going to just call our main function in here. So now if I run this you can see that uh, we will receive a geekscholars.db database in our working directory. Now let me just run this. Okay we are not so in here we have problem okay now let me just run this again okay so you can see the database created uh, this is our database and if you see the working directory we have a database in here right now we don't have any data in this database but we will create data so now we have created our database it's time to create our table in the database now I'm going to just create a new Python file and I'm going to just call it create table. So first we need to import SQLite 3 as uh, lit and in the main function I need to uh, create a connection uh, with my database so I'm going to just say uh, dblit.connect and in here you can add the name of the database so the database of uh, my database name is this is the database and after creating of the database we need to create cursor object because we want to execute query so we are going to just say db dot cursor and now we need to uh, create our query so I'm going to just call it table query and we can say uh, create table uh, now you need to give the name of the table so I want to create a table of users and after that you need to add the fields of the table so I want ID it should be integer uh, also I want name it should be text uh, also I want email 
uh, this should be also text okay now after creation uh, creating of the query now we need to execute our query so we can use cursor object for uh, executing of the query so you can just say execute and and here you need to add your uh, query as parameters so I'm going to just say table query and after that I'm going to just print uh, for example table created and if there was an error uh, I want to write that in the accept block so accept lit dot error as e and I'm going to just say print unable to create table and now we need to just uh, call our main function so let me just copy this from here and paste it in this section okay now we need to just run this okay table created but right now uh, uh, so we need to check this that uh, we have our table or not uh, for this I'm going to use SQLite uh, studio uh, so you can download this uh, from SQLite studio.pl and I have already downloaded and installed it and now I'm going to open this and from the database I want to add a database in here uh, it should be SQLite 3 and now I need to open the project so my project name is SQLite DB so let me just find oh uh, yeah now it's SQLite DB and in here you can see I have geekscoders.db this is my database and I want to open this okay now you can see that we have our users table in here uh, there is three column for this we have ID name and also email so like this you can uh, create your uh, table so now we want to insert data to the table right now if you see in the data section we don't have any data now we want to add some data in our SQLite database so I'm going to create a new Python file and I want to call it insert data uh, we need to import SQLite tree so import SQLite tree as lit and uh, now first I need to just create uh, my user in here uh, I want to add multiple rows so it should be a tuple data now in the first I'm going to just add uh, so for the name I want to add uh, for example geek scooters and I can give an email in here so if you want the source codes you can just check my website geekscoders.com and you can get all the source codes at gmail.com so this is my first data and I want to add another one let me just copy this so this is my second data So the name is John and we can give an email address in here. Let me add one more data. Okay, now this is our data and we want to insert this in our uh, SQLite database table. Uh, so the first thing we need we need to create a connection so we can just say dbalit.connect and in here you need to add your database name so 
So this is my database name. After that, we need to uh, create our cursor because cursor object because we want to execute our query for inserting data. So db dot cursor. And now we need to execute our query. So in here, uh, I'm going to use execute many uh, because I want to add multiple rows uh, in my table, in my database tables. So for this reason, I'm going to use this skill ex execute many. And in here, we need to execute our query. So we can just say insert into users. So this is our table name and we need to give the values so I'm going to use uh, placeholders in here and after that you need to uh, we want to add our my user data in here and uh, now we can print this so data insert it okay now let me just run this so now you can see that we are receiving the data inserted now let's check our SQLite uh, studio now I'm going to just refresh this and now you can see that we have our these data so this is the data and we have added this in our uh, SQLite database. So now we want to select the data. Uh, so these are our data and we want to select this or retrieve the data from the SQLite database. Uh, I'm going to just create a new Python file. I'm going to just uh, name it select data. So you can import uh, let me just uh, copy so this import and I need to connect uh, to my database so let me just copy this so after this now we need to just say with DB and we need to just create the object of cursor so cursor uh, and now we need to just uh, write our query in here it's select query and we want to select all the data so select all from users this is our table name now we can execute the query so execute and we want to just use select query uh, after this we need to fetch our data so we can just say car dot uh, fetch all if you want to retrieve one data you can use fetch one uh, we are using fetch all for this and after this we want to iterate over the data so for data in row and we are going to print our data and now we are going to run this so now we can see that these are the data and uh, we have retrieved the data from our SQLite database. Uh, now we want to update our data. For example, if you want to update one of uh, your uh, data, you can do that. Create a new Python file. I'm going to just call it update data. And we need to import SQLite 3. and also you need to create a connection with the database so with db now in here i want to just uh, uh, update my name so if you see sqlite studio i'm going to just uh, update this name and my first record in, uh, in the database so i'm going to just say apt dated name and the user ID is 1 
now we can create the object of uh, cursor so db dot cursor uh, execute the query so execute and we are going to just say update users set name so this is our uh, name field and we want to set this where id is okay we want to set this name with this uh, new name and the id is user id okay this is our query and now we can just uh, after executing the query we need to commit our database if we don't do this we will not see any data and also we can just print uh, so data updated okay now let me just run this okay we are receiving the data updated now we can check in the SQLite studio so let me just refresh this uh, database and now you can see that it is updated to updated name now the last operation that we want to do that is deleting of the data now we're going to create a new uh, Python file I'm going to just call it delete data so we need to import our SQLite tree also we need to just connect our code to the database uh, now with DB we are going to now in here we need to uh, just add our uh, deleted data so in here I can just say for example deleted name or whatever you can just call it and so it is if you see I want to delete this so it is updated name or you don't need to add this um, I think we can just use a uh, user ID in here so user ID and we want to delete the first uh, user we can just say db dot cursor and now we can execute our our query and we can just say delete from users where id is user id so we want to delete the first data in the database okay now we need to just commit the database after deleting and we want to print data deleted so now I want to run this data deleted and now if I check my SQLite database let me refresh my database you can see that we don't have our first data so like this you can work with SQLite database SQLite 3 and Python uh, if you want the source codes you can just check my website geekscoders.com and uh, please subscribe my channel like the video and also share the video